Hello, Pokemon players around the world. We're going to learn how to use Hamachi and Red Shark to play the Pokemon trading card game online. We'll start with explaining Red Shark. Red Shark is a program that's developed to share a play map using your screen. I'm going to right click it, choose Run as Administrator, and that will allow me to make changes and things. If you just double click it for some reason, it doesn't let you make changes. Now here you have the screen. Notice it's nothing but a great big play map. Player A bench, player B bench. You got red on the top, blue on the bottom. So if you're player A, all your cards are going to show at the top. Now I'm going to the top of the screen and I'm selecting Deck Builder. That's going to allow me to put a deck together without making a big mess of cards all around the house. When you first open this up, it's showing you unlimited. So all the cards that's been made for Pokemon trade and card games show up. First, change it to Modified Legal by selecting MD On or whatever format you're in. Hit the Update button and you'll see all the cards on the left have changed to only the Modified Tournament Legal cards. Now, you simply type in the card you want by name or you can scroll up and down and find the name of your card. When you find the card you want, you simply add it to the list by clicking the Add button. Notice on the right, the deck list is starting to be created. If you hit the add button more than once, you get that many copies of that card in your deck. Now on the bottom, you can search trainers by clicking the trainer button and update. Notice the Pokemon are gone, and now only the trainers and supporters and stadiums list on the left. So once you get proficient with this program, you can build a brand new deck list idea out in a matter of minutes. Okay, let's pretend like we have all the cards we want and we want to open up an existing deck list we've already done in the past. Hit the load button. The folder where all of your decks are stored are going to show up. Choose a deck that you've already made and named and open it. Notice when you open a deck file, all of the cards in your pre-existing deck, they show up on the right. You hit save and use to actually load the deck. Hit game and new game. I'm going to choose the first mode. There's four modes. The first one lets me practice on my own without connecting to other people. Notice my hand, my first seven cards show up on the left and the prize cards are automatically dealt on the right. Right click the card in your hand and it'll let you play it face down on the table. Now if you just drag and drop, it'll play it face up on the table. And notice how the prize cards are already dealt out. Now we'll do a coin flip. I will go to the bottom of the screen and communicate with the other player. Do you want heads or tails or whatever? Then they'll tell me. Then I'll go and flip the coin next to the deck. And you'll see at the bottom of the screen whether or not the flip was heads or tails. Right click your cards, flip them over, reveal them. To start your turn, click the start turn button and that will automatically draw a card for you. Notice when you drag a card over top of another card, it asks you if you want to attach it. You hit yes and it will attach it. You can do that for tech machines and energies and all kinds of things. If you click on a card, its name, poke bodies, poke powers and attacks show up in that big white box on the right side. You can click that and hit the enter key and that will announce the attacks or the powers and things like Uxie's setup. I clicked on it. Now I go to the draw a card button next to the coin and I'm going to click it until I have seven in my hand. Notice it keeps count of how many cards are in hand and your opponent can also see that count as well. And when I'm done with my turn, I click end turn or I can click on a card and, and announce the attack. Remember, everything is communicated in the chat box. If you make a mistake, your opponent can communicate with you. I'm going to close this game out and we'll move on to the next lesson.